In millions of homes across the country, beloved family pets are at this very moment expressing themselves, playing or resting comfortably. But for as many happy, healthy family pets there are in America, there are billions more farm animals living in cruel, factory farming conditions where extreme confinement, mutilations, and daily cruelty are simply the norm. Their natural instincts, personalities, and intelligence are ignored. Instead, they are largely seen as commodities to be maximized for profit. Animals used for food live in appalling conditions, which raises the question, if this isn't acceptable for family pets, then why is this happening to our farm animals? Most people are humane and do not support cruelty, but most people are also unwittingly supporting cruelty by buying meat, milk, and eggs that is raised in these factory farms. And the fact is that cats and dogs and cows and pigs and chickens and turkeys are very similar in terms of their emotions, in terms of their feelings. They feel pain, they feel fear, they also feel joy and pleasure. And these animals deserve to be treated with respect and compassion, just like other animals. The good news is awareness is spreading. This is largely due to organizations like Farm Sanctuary that rescue and rehabilitate farm animals from cruel conditions and educate people about who these animals really are and what each of us can do to protect them. For starters, shifting our diets to include more plant-based foods and less meat would make a tremendous difference to both animals and people. There is increasing evidence from leading health organizations that animal foods, meat, milk, and eggs are especially harmful to our health, while a plant-based diet improves health and longevity. Additionally, eating a plant-based diet reduces our carbon footprint on an already overburdened planet. If somebody's nervous about this, the first thing to do is say, look, let's take it one day at a time. Take one day of the week, Meatless Monday if you want to do that, and say today is the day that I'm, I'm going to try something else. And, or take one dish that is a family favorite, say I'm going to take meat out of this dish and make it really simple and I think what you'll discover is that there's a lot of great options and substitutes that you really end up not missing anything. And if you're nervous, know that there are so many people out there with information. Just go online and say, I want, you know, I'm looking for the vegan version of you name it. And there are thousands of recipes and telling you the kinds of brands of food that are especially good to replace certain animal products. A lot of people come here and they've never met a turkey or a chicken or a pig and then all of a sudden they realize they're really not that much different than their own dogs and cats. They have these great personalities. So by making that connection, they're making a more educated decision about the food, the choices that they make. Meet Sonny. At just a day old, he was taken from his mother, suffering from a severe infection from a torn umbilical cord and put up for sale. Too sick to even stand, Sonny was deemed unworthy for purchase and was dumped in a stockyard pen. Rescued and rehabilitated by Farm Sanctuary, Sonny is today a very healthy and happy steer. When the animals come here, especially from the larger, like factory farms, they come here in a state of absolute fear. Um, a lot of them come in and they're shaking and they're trembling and, and you can't get near them, but they'll run into walls to get away from you. And watching the transformation, like the animals right here, the sheep that are behind me, 98% of them came in so scared of us that it was really even hard to deal with them. And if you look at them now, they feel safe and they feel happy. The spotlight on farm animal issues continues to grow. As it does, more animals like Sonny, Nikki, and Rhonda, all rescued from cruel factory farming conditions, will be given their time to shine. At Farm Sanctuary, we work to stop cruelty to farm animals, we work to raise awareness and encourage people to think about their food choices, and we work to promote a more compassionate, sustainable farming system that is more plant-based and does not exploit animals. Farm Sanctuary provided that ability to bear witness. It provided me an interaction with animals in a way that um, I hadn't seen them before. I grew up on a farm. You know, I grew up, my very first job at seven years old was cleaning the udders on cows. I spent seven years working on farms. And so animals are always a part of my life, but in a completely different way. The Farm Sanctuary created the opportunity to look at them in a completely different paradigm, and it was, you know, was life-changing. With locations in New York and California, each farm sanctuary is a place of healing, living, and educating. Every rescued farm animal is assessed and given the medical attention he or she needs to recover and thrive. From there, many are either adopted into permanent loving homes or will live out their lives 
at one of three locations. One of the most important things these rescued animals will do while living at Farm Sanctuary is give visitors a chance to get up close and personal with them because the sanctuaries are open to the public and serve as learning environments connecting people to farm animals. It's such an amazing experience for people to see that these are animals whose babies are taken away from them every day because we need their milk or we desire to have what they, we don't want them together for whatever reason. Um, but the dairy is a big thing that most people don't realize that the babies are immediately removed. These are animals that will stay with that baby until the day they die. So it's a lifelong bond if you allow it to be a lifelong bond. They come here to Farm Sanctuary, they meet some of the animals who had been raised to be slaughtered for food. They get to know those animals as their friends instead of as food and it's very transformational. When we come to Farm Sanctuary, we, there's this burden that lifts. It's everything about this place. It's, it's how the humans are warm and loving and they treat the animals with love and respect and nature is respected. But it takes a lot to keep these peaceful, loving sanctuaries humming along. Each and every animal here depends on donor dollars and volunteers. Without them, Farm Sanctuary wouldn't be able to provide the care needed to keep these rescued farm animals, who are ambassadors for the billions used for food, happy, healthy, and thriving. We encourage people to come visit Farm Sanctuary, and we also encourage people in communities to get involved. And Farm Sanctuary is happy to provide literature, videos, pictures, online resources. We just started a program called Compassionate Communities, where you can, in your own community, start like a, a veggie meetup group and like meet and talk, um, write letters to your congressman, and learn as much as you can about the industry and what we can do to make changes in that industry. Because as an individual, you can make a huge number of changes. And as a community, you can make even more changes. Until there is an end to cruel factory farming, there will always be a need for Farm Sanctuary, a safe haven for our farm animal friends. To learn more or find out ways you can help, visit us online.